Hello guys, this is Pounce from Headball 2. Tonight I'm making a video about gold used to upgrade characters, managing gold as a resource, when to upgrade characters, and gold used for scratch cards to gain attributes. Now, during this video, you will see links on the top right corner relating to various items I talk about, and these are videos that I have made. I strongly encourage you to watch all of them for your own good. Um, all of my videos are designed to help gamers out, so you will benefit from them. And of course, in return, my views goes up. So this is a win-win situation. So first off, we just completed the King of Tribune event and uh, we have Gold Rain now and Omen is a character. And I correctly predicted it. And there is a video that will appear on top that will let you know how to correctly predict characters. So you should probably watch it for your own good. And this will help you uh, down the road to upgrade characters. Now, gold is used to upgrade characters and it is such a valuable resource. And oftentimes by many gamers, it is mismanaged. There is a video where we talk about how the gold per win used to be at 2000 and now it's at 1400. So it is a commodity that is absolutely vital to upgrade characters because you can only upgrade characters using gold. Now, a lot of gamers will use gold to purchase special scratches. And, you know, with that, they hope to get energy drinks, you know, superpowers, double point boosts and so forth. And I strongly encourage you to use diamonds for anything relating to that because of the downgrade from 2000 to 1400 gold uh, per win. I'm just going to give you an idea. You have in one day, 24 hours, because they're available for every eight hours, 20 cards, which means there are 60 cards in total. So if you do 60 times 4000, it's 240,000. Now, did you ever calculate how much gold, you, how many matches do you need to play to make that back? If you don't use any boosts, so the double gold boost or any skill cards that you see here, the 30% gold, 15% gold and so forth, you would need to play 171 matches to make back what you have scratched in a day. Now, I don't know too many people who have the time to play six hours, eight hours worth of, you know, games to make that back. Now, if you do use the boost, that's still 85 matches. That's a lot. So do not waste your goal on these scratches, please. It's much better if you want to get double points to just, you know, use this. Or if you want to get anything else, use your resources. Obviously, emeralds are to be managed. And whenever you play... Because gold is required to upgrade characters, I strongly also encourage you, whenever you play 10 rounds, to make use of the three emeralds here for double gold and to add to your characters as many gold skill cards as possible. So you will see here that I've got 30 and I've got 15. And if you look on top here, I'm at 45%. So the 1400 without the boost gives me 2010, around so. And then when I uh, do double gold, it's 4,000. And then when I have the advert, it's 8,000. So character upgrades are so vital to use in events and beat bots and real players in order for your win percentage to go up. Now, I am nearing 90% win rate. Um, and I can tell you that a year ago, I was at about 70%. And I knew when I was playing 10 matches that I would lose two or draw one. And as I upgraded my characters, I find the winning to be much easier. And you can see here, I've unlocked, you know, all the best characters and I just have to unlock Omen now. So, you know, that's that's very important. So you want to add as many gold attributes when you play in your skill cards. The other thing I want to talk to you about is to keep a minimum balance of 5 million gold at all times. And I want to talk to you about why that is important. Now, first off, when you go up in the game, Obviously, there are three events a week. You have King of Tribune, Gold Rain, and Master of Points. Now, what happens when you go below 5 million is that you might have the cards, but if you upgrade all your characters and you have no diamond or no gold balance, 
you get stuck in a situation where I was. For example, here, Kraken is probably the last one. Kraken and Panda were the last one I completed at level six. And I had a few characters at level six, but whenever they would come up, I had the cards, but I ran out of gold because I was upgrading too fast and I was not leaving a balance. So I know it's very hard. First of all, you have to understand that gold is maximized at 10 million. So you cannot get above 10 million. Now, when you keep a balance of at least 5 million, you know that if you play with a character and you upgrade one level or two level, because they do, they are expensive. They are very expensive. To upgrade a character from level three to... Um, to, to level, you know, two, three, it can cost you anywhere between 330,000 to 2 million. So it's a shame if you have many skill cards, but you don't have the goal. So that happened to me. That's why I want to share that with you. Also, when you are like me and you have upgraded, you know, all your characters, um, you know, for me, I wait till 10 million and then I'm going to spend 5 million to upgrade characters and then my, build my goal back. But if you're not in the stage where I am, I strongly encourage you to only upgrade characters when required if you don't have a minimum balance of 5 million, which means you upgrade only when there is an event. Some players make the mistake of, you know, they've got 6, 7 million. They will spend all of that. And then, you know, when time comes and they really need to upgrade a character, they run out of gold. So only upgrade when required, only upgrade for events. And at all times, please do keep a balance of 5 million Gold, yes, it takes a long time. Yes, it takes a lot of effort, but in the long run, you will definitely benefit, okay? So I'm now going to upgrade Omen because it is the character for, like I said, Gold Rain, right? So I've got a few cards and uh, I wanted, unfortunately, to wait 10 million to upgrade characters, but I need it for the event because in this event, if you use Omen, you actually get double gold. And for the last month, for month and a half, it has been infinity tickets and infinity energy. So I'm definitely going to make use of this. So I'm going to upgrade the character here and it's going to cost me 330,000 and I'm not going to go below 5 million. So let's look at my balance, 8.6 million. Very good. I want to upgrade this bad boy here. <clears throat> I've got some skill cards. Very good. I go to level two. That's perfect. So there you go. And I'm going to upgrade now. So you can see that this round, two levels has cost me a million. Now, what would I have done if I did have, if I did not have any gold in my bank? I'd be screwed. I'd be screwed. Now, also, before you upgrade your characters, before I keep going with the upgrade, I just want to show you that you really have to pay attention here because sometimes you need a certain level. Here, you just need level one omen. Sometimes it's level two, level three, level four, level five. So before you upgrade characters, make sure that you pay attention to the level required. So I've spent 330,000 upgrading it and I've just spent 660,000. So that's 1 million. I'm on to upgrade again. That's 2 million. It just goes so quickly. So I've just spent 2 million in three levels. And of course, I don't have the skill cards. I'm at level four, you know, which is okay. I'm at level four. Now I need, you know, 360 minus uh, 159. So I'm not, I'm not going to just use that character now. I'm also going to add the skill cards. And again, a video is going to be coming up on top about the skill cards. Jump and size are the two most important. So I'm going to go ahead and add jump because this game is all about jumping. I'm going to add the size, definitely. And I shoot doesn't really matter. Speed doesn't really matter. And here, you know, I wish I had plus 30% gold. Plus 15% gold. I only have 5%. That's okay. I'm going to add that skill. So I cannot upgrade anymore, but that's how it is. So a bunch of videos that you guys probably need to take a look at. And I'm going to enjoy the game now. And we'll see how my character fares now. I mean, he's at 103. It's still, you know, below Galaxar, but that's all right. That's all right. So there you have it, guys. This was my advice regarding the usage and management of gold to upgrade characters. I hope this has provided you with additional tips going forward. Much needed for all of us players. As always, I would like to thank you for having watched this video. If you did in fact enjoy it, I would be most grateful if you could please and kindly click the like button. I do post meaningful videos on an almost daily basis, which are arranged in different playlists within my channel. So please do subscribe for regular objectful, objective and meaningful updates from Headball 2. This was Pounce. Take care, guys. Bless you all.